Hi y'all, I thought in this video we would rewind the clock. It's been a little while since I've done kind of a behind the scenes, what's been happening around here video. In fact, I think it's been about a month. So we're gonna, actually a little bit more than a month actually, we're gonna rewind the clock back to the middle of July. And these are just snippets of video that I thought you might find interesting what's been going on around here, but not quite long enough to do an entire video on. So hope you enjoy. Um, but before we jump into this video, here's a quick introduction in case you're new around here and wondering what this channel is all about. Hi there, we're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences, having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. Ooh, ah, so pretty. Flowers aren't so bad either. by pawpaw fruit. Then too. There's another one but guys. It's... We're very excited. See what happens here. How the heck we get to them. Yeah, there's also noises coming out of the woods, but say, Do you see? no, because I'm looking at the pawpaw. <laughs> Oh, 
case anybody's wondering, today's her birthday. This is what she decides to do. She jumps in her birthday suit and heads to the woods. This, all once, looked like that. We're desperately trying to get rid of these viney things from growing up on all of our trees. It's very invasive. Just wanted to show you, we have, Matt's coming out of the woods. Ah! <laughs> Just wanted to show you, not Matt coming out of the woods, but we have all kinds of these, I think you can tell, barely tell, these deer paths bear. running through the woods. Not bear, deer. They're really cool. So anyways, that's it. Update number one, I know I promised I'd come out during the rain and I swear it just was, but it's wet. It's definitely a bit wetter through here and I don't have water flowing, but you can tell our channel is definitely getting washed out quite a bit more as it goes along. I'll show you the next one. Okay, so here comes our second drainage ditch. Hopefully you hear that thunder, because I swear I came out here in the rain and now it's not raining. But in either case, you can see we're still, we're getting a little greener, but still definitely rocky and drowned. But if you look that way, that is growing in fairly decently after the culvert. So I think, and again, they're not, they're not soaked right now, but based on the paths, I think you can tell that they're definitely probably working. I don't know. I was hoping to see a lot of rain pouring too, but not yet. But you can see, like even as I walk down here, it's definitely more green and giving everything a better chance of growing. So anyway, there you have it. like a bobcat.
Hi y'all, I thought maybe it might be interesting for you all to see what I've been kind of knitting pretty much all summer long and that is socks. I have taken them on trips, knit in the car, knit around a campfire, um, knit at home. <laughs> I've just been knitting a lot of socks and so I thought I would kind of take you on a sock parade if you will and show you the finished socks that i basically did throughout the summer and maybe you'd find it interesting so let me flip the camera around and show you them all right so here is my pile of socks minus one pair which i'll show you in a minute or two but i wanted to show you each pair and i think I might have mentioned this in the past, but I was down a sock fitting rabbit hole this summer. So I have several different, most of these socks are just vanilla socks, but I have several different heels. So this is the fish lips and kiss heel, fish lips kiss heel, something like that. And um, all these actually fit me quite well, but I was just trying to perfect the perfect fitting sock for me. So pair number one and I should also say that all of these are um, indie dyer uh, yarn dyer some of them are super wash merino some of them are not and uh, if I think of it I'll try to put the name of the dyers on the screen here somewhere as I go through each pair if I can find the name all right here is pair number two and this is actually an alpaca yarn and I did um, the heels sorry that was the coffee pot if you heard that gurgling I did the toe the heel and a little bit on the cuff in a super washed merino just I think it's a knit picks uh, stroll but this is alpaca the ma majority of it and this particular heel is a heel flap and gusset all right, pair number three is a yarn from Vegas on the body and the toes, heels, and cuffs, I think are Regia, but the yarn from Vegas is a Vegas Knights yarn um, based off of the Vegas Knights hockey team. So that, oh, and it's the um, Flegal heel on this one. All right, pair number four is uh, an Ohio yarn dyer, I believe they're from Ohio, Destination Yarns. And this, I know color is called Fall Run colorway, even though I knit them in the summer. <laughs> and uh, the toes and the little pop of color on the cuff is Regia yarn. And again, this is a Flegal heel. And here is the last pair of summer socks that I knit for myself. This is an afterthought heel and, um, you know, fun, a bright, a neon, self-striping yarn. And again, if I can find the name of it, I'll put the name of it on the screen here. But this is an afterthought heel. And I should say with this one, I think you can kind of tell the heel's a little bit wonky. And that's because I have to add extra rows on the afterthought heel to get them to fit my feet which is also why i was kind of on this knitting sock adventure i with all of the different heels i was really looking for something to fit my feet i have short feet <laughs> they're only about a size six and a half sometimes seven uh women's but they have a very very high arch and a high like instep so um i have to buy like special ski boots and yeah it's all it's a whole thing anyway so i was trying to knit a pair of socks that i could actually wear inside shoes they would be comfortable i could get on over my high arch and uh, fit my short foot so that was the mission this summer and all of these socks fit me really really well so and then the very last pair of socks I knit, Matt actually wanted a knitted pair of socks. So his feet are larger, so there's a lot more 
um, knitting going on, but he doesn't have a high arch or anything, you know, I don't want to call it strange, but anything unique going on with his feet. They're just a normal size a men's foot. So um, his socks fit him perfectly the very first time, which was great. So I have a lot more knitting plans for the summer, maybe a few more socks, but I'm going to kind of venture out on a few other things now that I've found my perfect sock recipe, if you will. And if you're interested in seeing more of that, just let me know. I'm happy to share it. Maybe I'll just continue to share it in these quick little life update videos. Um, but if you're interested in more of a knitting episode let me know because i would love to talk more about it maybe i would just do it maybe once every couple months because i'm a slow knitter as i am a new knitter but um i would be very happy to do that and i don't know maybe i'll just do it anyways but let me know either way if you're interested or not it would kind of just be maybe like an extra video i would still have the normal weekly artsy videos, barnuminium videos, those type of things, but it would just kind of be an extra video thrown in there maybe every few months. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. All right, all, so I hope you enjoyed that quick little update on the happenings around here. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the little critters on the property, taking you on a farm tour around the area, and yeah, all the good stuff. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It truly does help us out. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. We've got painting videos, barn dominium videos, travel videos all coming your way in the next several weeks. So um, anyways, we will see you on the next one. Thank you again so much for following along. Bye for now.